Good morning to all traders and welcome to another Market Assets video. Today is Tuesday, it is the 9th of February and the interesting week that we started yesterday of course continues. Actually I would say, well we didn't start the week last Friday but we started a reversal on the dollar which is to me a continuation as I also said uh, maybe even back on Friday and yesterday as well that now we're probably going to see the dollar continue lower for the fifth wave that I was expecting. But anyway today we're not going really to look at the index. Uh, but we're going to analyze the euro dollar, the pound dollar, and also the dollar yen. Now, both uh, it seems like the, you know both the, the euro and the dollar uh, and the pound, sorry, registered the local low last Friday, right? And uh, yesterday we saw this continuing being the case with new uh, highs registered um, for both the pairs, and it seems to be to be the case that now the dollar is poised to remain cheap. That is because obviously we have unstoppable QE coming in and now also potentially enormous $1.9 trillion uh, stimulus, uh, fiscal stimulus package um, coming through without a bipartisan, uh, the bipartisan support from uh, Republicans, to be honest. Now, on one hand, risk rises because obviously Biden's uh, plan is expected to fuel economic growth and also employment Yellen even said even <laughs> even next year full employment anyway let's just leave that for now um, that of course drives risk assets and stocks up right and on the other uh, on the other hand we have the big fiscal uh, this expectation of a huge deficit and fiscal sp spending right um, that place of course the, the greenberg in a, in a weaker position going forward and without concerns around inflation, as both Yellen and also um, Mester uh, expressed yesterday uh, on their speech, uh, they were talking. Um, well, the green part, the green part really might be on it in in the long run. Okay, so now that's it. When I'm saying long run, obviously I don't really mean the long long run, but I mean at least uh, well for the medium term. We're probably looking at 125 for euro dollar okay uh, then pound dollar 114 uh, dollar yen it might be a different case because we're dealing against uh, the japanese yen but let's have a quick jump on the charts um so as you well know uh, we've been tracking the euro dollar and we was expecting this decline for a while everything comes according to our everything came so far actually according to according to our initial uh, and first count i believe we ended down here now and and we started an impulsive move that is going to take us um up to around 125 even even higher right i'm not going to go into levels for now it's still too early here's what i'm looking i'm looking at this as an end diagonal uh we didn't get down to 11920 which is what i was expecting uh, to be the case anyway because I don't think we're going to um, we're going to revisit these levels right I, I wanted to be away from this top because it would make this uh, non-impulsive upside so I, I wouldn't like that at all to be honest uh, but still there is a risk and how I think this risk is going to be minimized but not of course discounted completely is once we break above this trend line okay and this is the trend line uh, of this open-ended diagonal that we ended up, uh, down here, okay, in, in wave four. Um, once we break above that, then chances are that we're going to continue higher. Okay, so this is going to be one, two, three, four, and it looks like this is a five. It looks like this is going to be an ending diagonal, right? Then we're going to get a two and then a three. So I will be looking at the second break, right? Not the first, because we might have a false break in the beginning. That's going to be... Um, was well, going to be wave three, right? And then we're going to get four and five. On pound dollar, we are also on a last wave on the upside, to the upside, okay? Uh, to me, this looks like, uh, well, we're waiting for this to, to start moving lower anyway, right? So, um, this is the triple zigzag. We talked about it for a while. Um, we've changed this count a couple of times, if I'm not mistaken. And now, it looks like to me, after this expanded uh, flat in wave 2 over here, it looks to me like we're going to head now higher um, for 3, 4, and 5. Okay? Now, here's the thing, guys. Okay? This can either be an ABC or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that's the same story with this. 
So it could be an ending diagonal, okay? Because we still got one wave one and two in. So that could be something like this, okay? We could get three, four, and five. We're going to see how this pans out. But for the moment, for the time being, this is the 100th Fibonacci extension that we stopped of waves one and two, right? So 137.91. Once we break this, we're probably looking at 139.32. Then we're going to get down in four, then five. And I'm looking at um, at 139.70. But I think we're going to really take take out the 140. Okay, so we're going to head for wave five at 140.19, which is the 200th Fibonacci extension of waves one and two. And then on dollar yen, one, two, we're expecting three, we're expecting four now, we're going to get five for wave A. Here's the thing now, we've got, you know, one, two, three, four, and five within that, potentially ended, yes, this is a triangle. And now it looks like we've gone down, one, two, three, four, and five. It could be an A, we're going to get a B, and then we're going to get a C, okay? But here's what I, th I, I think, right? I think that we're not going to cross below... 104.54, which is a Fibonacci retracement of wave three, and I think that because once we get to wave one, things become become a bit a bit complicated. Okay, unless if this turns out to be a leading diagonal in wave A. Okay, unless if that's the case. Otherwise, we're not going to go below 104.54 or 104. Let's just call it 104.39. Yeah, just to be more precise. Um, the thing is, once we once we complete this uh, correction, we're going to start moving back up. Since we do the 120, 1272, there is chances that this wave A extension takes us up to 107.59, okay? Obviously not if this is a leading diagonal, okay? If this is a leading diagonal, it's going to be a different case. But if this remains an impulse, uh, we're probably looking at this wave A completely anywhere between 106.36 and 107.59. Now, the other scenario is that this is an A, B, and we're going to get a C immediately and then move back up higher, okay? Because the rule of alternation, uh, it will be, you know, it will be fine, it will be respected. Uh, or as I said before, you know, a, a, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C could, could, could turn like a flat or something, but... You know, look at this. A rule of alternation, not good with a flat. We prefer the sharp one, okay? So that's it for dollar yen as well. Uh, now, in case we we'll break, of course, uh, we will revisit and, and uh, do another count uh, to make sure that we are following uh, market dynamics and to make sure, of course, uh, that we we'll keep you guys up updated with, uh, with where the markets are heading uh, more accurately. Okay, so thank you very much for watching.